Hi, I'm Pamela Cipriano. I am a doctorally prepared nurse practitioner in Thomaston, Connecticut. I work at the Practice of Health and Wellness. We specialize in tick-borne diseases, chronic illness, chronic inflammation. We also specialize in getting people off of their medications and back to a state of health. My goal is to get everybody healthy. Being on medication is not healthy. Being on medication gives you a lot of side effects, unnecessary side effects. There are many ways that we can heal the body without medication. I never tell anyone to stop their medication without medical advice and without being monitored by a medical professional. And there's a reason for this. If you are prescribed medication, it's most likely because your cholesterol levels were elevated, your blood pressure is elevated, you may have diabetes or be developing diabetes. Um, these are really good reasons to be on medication, but your body can also reverse this disease process with a little bit of help from a medical professional who does understand how diet and exercise can reverse the disease process. For example, if you're diagnosed with diabetes and you hadn't been to a doctor in a while and you finally get yourself to a doctor and they do some blood work, and you're kind of taken by surprise that you're diagnosed with this disease process. Many times the medication is the first option. There's no discussion on diet and how you can reverse this. At the practice of health and wellness, my goal is to, first of all, not prescribe medications if I don't need to. However, if your A1C is really elevated, so an A1C of 6.5 is diabetes, uh, an A1C of uh, 8.5 is more severe diabetes. If your A1C is 8.5, I'm going to definitely encourage you to take the medication while we change your diet, increase your exercise, and monitor your A1C values. I generally monitor A1C values every three months, and I do this because the red blood cell lives in the body for approximately three to four months. The glucose molecules attach themselves to the red blood cells, and it's a calculation to see how many glucose molecules are attached to the hemoglobin, and that's how we get our hemoglobin A1C, A1C for short. As we decrease the amount of bread you're eating, the amount of um, simple carbohydrates, um, and decrease the amount of food in general that you're eating, because if you're eating too much of anything, even great food, it's going to turn to sugar if you don't if you don't expend the energy. If we do all these things and in three months, your blood sugar goes from 8.4, 8.5 down to, let's say 7.0, we know we're on the right track. I would still continue to tell you to continue taking your medication until we can get it down to a better level. If we get it down to 6.5, which is the beginning of diabetes, I would discuss decreasing the dose of the diabetic medication. Continue with your dietary needs that we discuss at the visit, continue to do your cardiovascular and weight weight management, weight training management. And then what we do is we monitor your A1C again. And in three months, let's pretend that your A1C goes down to 5.7. Now you're pre-diabetic and no longer diabetic. Now we stop the medication. And we continue to follow that every three months. I cannot tell you how many patients I have gotten off of their medication with something as simple as changing your diet, encouraging uh, an exercise program, and incorporating weight training. It's amazing how well the body wants to heal itself. The problem with taking medication and relying on medicines is every medication has a side effect, just like every food has a side effect. There's gonna be a good side effect and bad side effect. For medication, the good side effect is it's going to correct the abnormality in your body. The bad side effect is every medication is gonna cause something, whether it's visual changes, dry mouth, weight gain, weight loss, depending on what it is, I don't really know what the side effect is gonna be because each individual person is different. The same thing with food. Food is going to have a side effect. It's either gonna be a good side effect or a bad side effect. Most of the time, especially in the United States with the type of food that we, we have in this country, it's gonna be a bad side effect. If you have foods that are high in simple carbs, so like white flour, white sugar, you're gonna have a bad side effect. That's what's gonna to lead to diabetes and obesity. If you feel like you're ready to make a change, 
Stop the chronic illness. Get yourself healthy. Please call the office and make an appointment. The telephone number here is 860-880-2525. You can visit us at thepracticeofhealthandwellness.com. I really hope to see you soon. I'd love to get you healthy.